Today is table day. I've got to get the table put together and I've got to get it installed, but this just isn't any table. This is a special table. Hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of any of these videos, and I think you're really going to like this one, hit the like, hit the subscribe. You know to leave me a comment. You know I like that. Hit the bell. That's the new thing. Hit the bell. Helps our channel grow. And you know I really do appreciate it. Okay, so, special table, you say? I did say. I'm going to show you why. Here is our old table. This is the table that came out of this 1970 Cerro Scotty Sportsman Gaucho behind us. And we're just about to finish it up. So remember when I tore this apart, it's three quarter inch, three quarters of an inch, but it's not really. People like to think this is for mica. I thought it was for mica. I always think it's for mica, I'll shine it up. You can't, because you know why? Ta-da! It's masonite. Masonite. They just painted masonite, cut it to fit over a half inch sheet of plywood, and made a table. We're not gonna do that. And we're not gonna do like I usually do and put either Wilson art or Formica on it. We're gonna do something even better than that. So I did keep this as a template. You know, you know for sure that I save everything. And why do I save everything? Because look on the back, right here, that's where the leg goes. So I wanna measure that. I wanna keep it as close to original as possible. Up here, this is where the hinges go. I wanna keep this as close to original as possible because that's what our, care, our customer Karen wants. She wants it as close to original as is possible while still getting some of that feel of vintage. So that's what we're doing, right? But we're not gonna use this, we're not gonna use that, but we're gonna save this because we want these measurements. So I'm not gonna throw that down because I need to use it. Now, before I pull this table up, when we get these vintage campers, everybody has a different idea. Some people just want to go camp and they think they look cool. Some people have them because it reminds them of somebody they used to camp with. Maybe it's their mom and dad. Maybe it's their grandma or grandpa. And they want to have that connection. And that's why this table right here is special. So I took a piece of half inch, and you know we need three quarter, but I took this piece of half inch and I cut out based on this pattern. I cut it out. Look at that, that's pretty exacting standards. Okay, so I cut that out. And then, Karen said to me, I want to do the table. Well, I don't like that normally. I really do not. I like to do the work. I know that it's gonna be where I want it, how I want it. And she said, and I said, so yeah, why? It's, it's built into the price. What, what, what do you want to do different? She said, well, I want to do a pattern that reminds me of my grandparents. When I used to go to my grandparents, they always had this pattern. And I want to see if I could replicate it. And I'm going to do it in epoxy. And I'm like, whoa, epoxy sounds easy, but it's really not that easy. She goes, no, no, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to perfect it. And I'm going to do the pattern that reminds me of my grandparents. So she took this and added about a quarter of an inch, almost a quarter of an inch of epoxy with this pattern. Let me bring this around so you can take a closer look at it. If you look at this, and I don't know how old most of you are, but looking at our stats, I think you're probably somewhere around my age or maybe younger within a 10 year range. But look at this, it's beautiful. That is gold flakes. Karen made that. She put the gold flakes on top of the epoxy, it settled in, there's not a bubble in this. That is super cool. Super cool. So she has entrusted me with putting the rest of this together. And so we're gonna put the rest of it together right now. All right, so Karen has got me fired up now and I'm like, I have got to take 
special care of this. It's from the heart. So I did save our trim ring off of the original table. And since I cut this table off of that table, it should be exact. So we've got to make sure that we get this on here. So I'm gonna flip it upside down real, or right side up real quick. And try not to spill all my screws right here in the meantime. I mean, it's epoxy. I don't think it's gonna scratch easily, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat it like it's Easter eggs because I know that this is very important to her. I grew up camping with my grandparents. I hear her, I definitely hear her. So I'm gonna set this on here real quick. I'm gonna go right here. And by gosh, we're not too far off. Not far off enough that we cannot overcome this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these number six half inch screws, pan head screws, I'm gonna screw these in. You can watch me do the first one or two, and then uh, hopefully Russ is gonna fast forward this so that you don't have to sit through all of it. Take a look at that. If you don't think that's beautiful, we can't be friends. That is spectacular. Karen, you did a good job. Am I gonna stop making fun of you for choosing pink? No. But you did a heck of a job on this table. I like it. Now, as you remember, I told you I saved this for the measurements. So I want to see how far to come down from the top to put the hinge in. So it looks like about six, six and just a touch over a half to the holes for the hinge. And it's probably going to be dead center. So it's, yep, it's dead center 16 because this is 32 wide dead center so we got to come down and it doesn't matter i mean it can be close six and a half <coughs> now excuse me <coughs> look at this sweet little leg that i made scotty leg not exactly they're a little wider from the factory in fact i think i've got the original right here except they painted it green Green, yuck. But anyway, it's the same height. It's amber shellac to match the trailer. I've got the hinge on it. We're gonna install the hinge. I'm gonna use these number eights right here. Oh, I better get rid of that. Woo. What am I thinking? Bye-bye. All right, so let me make my measurements real quick. What'd I say, six and a half? Let's come down about six and one half. Let's go over. 16, we're gonna be right about there on our center line. So, I've got this hinge that I've added. Even look here, I used the original screws. Square head screws. That's for you, Karen, because I know you like that stuff. Okay, I use these number eights half inch because this really isn't three quarters. We don't wanna go through her beautiful work. So I'm gonna get this set right here. And I'm going to, I'm going to pre-drill this first one just because things can get a little funky sometimes. There we go. That was easy enough. All right. We'll get that first one put in here. We'll put two more in. And then we are, I better, I don't know. There we go. There we go. That looks a little better. Get this leg put in here with a nod to, nod to the original. Boom, just like that. There it's down. And when you're gonna go to sleep at night, you gotta put this table leg down. When you wanna get up and eat in the morning, it's gotta go up. Once again, we are going to do this as original as possible. Now, 
This is the original hinge of the Scotty. This is what allows it to lower down to the bed and come up into the eating position. So, I salvaged this from this 70 Gaucho. I went back to use all the pieces and parts and they were in terrible shape and they were green and I thought about going a different direction. But why would we do that when our good friend with a camper that was here before, Tracy, you all remember Tracy, she left us a bunch of parts that she wasn't ever going to use again. And some of those parts that Tracy left us were the hinges, the hinge holders really, and then the other keeps for the table. So Tracy, tell Shandy thank you. We appreciate it because they're in great shape. We're going to recycle them, reuse them, upcycle them right here on this gaucho. So we're going to get these set. First thing I have to do is set these. So these are going to set here. So remember, remember, we saved this for just this occasion. So we're going to measure them real quick. And they're in about whew, five and a quarter on center. Five and a quarter on center. All right, let's put this off to the side here. So we're going to come in five and a quarter on center. Going to go right about there. Right about there. Okay. So uh, my pencil's falling apart, but that's all right. I still got the lead. There we go. All right. So I am going to set this right here. It's going to go right up against the edge here. So I'm going to kind of move this back off of this cushion. I got this cushion down here just to take good care of this table because I, all right, it's not even mine and I'm pretty proud of it. So I'm going to set this hinge in here, center this up. I'm going to drop a screw in here real quick. And then I'm going to set the other side with a screw and then we will probably go double time. So let me get this set in here. So I've got this edge, this edge right here. This is what it looks like. That bump, there's where your hinge goes. This goes right up against the edge right here. And that's what we're shooting for. Guillotine. All right, so let me get this one going right here. Get that, make sure it's got room to room to roll right there. And it, it kind of does. I'm gonna give it, give it just right there. Cause you can kind of see on these old things, they've been used enough that they're a little bit wore down, but not in a bad way, not in a bad way. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Make sure I give it room to move. And there we go. So this will go down when we want to go into the down position. It's going to come up. We want it in the up position. We're in the camper. We're in the shop. So the lighting is terrible in here. Well, curling's in here. But I wanted to show you the process. So I can't promise how much of this is going to be so bad that Russ uh, just edits it out. But I wanted to kind of show you where I'm going. So the first thing I have to do is I already know that the camper's level because I leveled it. Now I got to make sure that the table's level and then I can start making my marks to put all of the keeps in. So my first stop right here, I've got the table leg up and in position. Now this is terrible. I could use a little help, but uh, okay, I got to get this up here and I'm looking at my bubble. And right there is perfect. Unfortunately, I can't reach anything. All right, let me get under here. Ugh, that's terrible. I'm going to move. Like I said, this will probably all get edited out. Let me sit here. Probably should have done that from the start. All right, here we go. Again, I got my level. I got to put the got to put the bubble right in the middle. Ooh, ooh right. 
that's getting real close right there. And I'm going to mark this one. Oh, I'm not going to mark that one. But, let me get a little closer here. Get this one set. Grab up here. I'm like some kind of gymnast here or something. Right there. All right, I got those two marked. Now, there's going to be two of those keeps that are going to sit right here. There's going to be two of those keeps that sit down here. We're going to install them right now. I put all the keeps in. I'm going to be relatively sure that you didn't see any of it. I struggled. I struggled. I was by myself. So I'm sure Russ is editing all of that out. But the good news is, well, besides Curly's here, and look at here, Linus is here. The good news is, whoop, careful boy. The good news is, everything is great. So kind of take a quick look. Right here, these are the bottom keeps. That's what that's going to really hinge on up and down. And then here are the keeps that keeps it from coming out when you're trying to eat. So I'm going to put it up here real quick and just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So we're going to pick it up from the bottom, make sure that it stays in those keeps down here. Whoop, fell out. See, that's what I'm talking about. There it goes. Now we come up there, we tip it up, put it in those top keeps, make sure that our leg is down, and look here. How nice is that? Of course, we're going to need some cushions here. So I'm sitting a little low right now. But this is a, I'm telling you, that's a beautiful table. And look at this table leg. I love it. It matches the interior. So that is exactly how we're going to put in this Scotty table. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that Russ didn't cut too much out.